What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the iPhone as well as the iPad right here. The topic for today is, however, how you can sync books together between iPhone and the iPad. Now, the very first step to achieve this would be to make sure that you're logged in with your Apple ID. Naturally, if you go to the settings, you have to see your name right there. But the important part is that you are logged in with the very same account on the iPad as well. So in case you want to sync it this way, you need to make sure that you are logged in with the same account. It cannot be split in between like different accounts. Now, the next step would be to open up the settings on your iPhone at first and tap on your name right there. So you can see all the things are going to show up. And one of them is iCloud. So if you click on iCloud, you can see how much storage each app takes up in terms of your cloud storage. You can manage that and stuff. But here are also apps which are using iCloud. At first, you can see like four apps, photos, drive, whatever, but click on a show all. And this is going to show all of the apps which can use iCloud on your iPad as well as on the iPhone. Now, I have it turned on for basically everything because I want to have synced all the data across all of my devices. But you can see in the second section, books is the first one on the list. So this means that the books can be turned on when it comes to the apps using iCloud and syncing. So when you disable that, it's going to ask you if you want to keep those or depending on if you have anything synced, but you just need to make sure that this is turned on. Now, this is not the last step because you have to make sure that the same stuff applies to your iPad as well. Guys, I want you to use your devices the best possible way. And that's why I created this free education platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access. Link is down below. So you can see this is an iPad. It of course has to be using the very same Apple ID. So my name has to be right there at the top as well. But the same stuff, of course, you have to go to the iCloud same things can be visible in here show all and make sure that books is turned on for me it is and this means that if i download one book or purchase one book on the ipad it's going to show up on the iphone as well and vice versa so it doesn't matter i have it actually synced with my mac as well so whenever i download let's say some pdf on my mac and i just add it to the books app it's just going to show up and be synced across all of my devices. So I use it a lot. I find this to be very useful. So I think you should keep it turned on that way and everything's going to be automatically showing up on all of your devices. But I'm going to wrap up this video right now. This is everything what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.